Yeah, blue baby is back. Not staying blue, but I definitely will be attempting emerald once again uh, at some point in the future when it fades into that ugly seaweed color that I could already see it turning into. But it's okay. Today I'm bringing you another uh, video. This time it's going to be styling. Uh, the reason is because a lot of people have issues on how to style short bleached damaged hair. I know what bleach does. I've bleached my hair many, many times before. However, the fact that I keep doing it indicates that there's a greater purpose for a bleach, which is why I do it. This greater purpose was blue, you know. However, it is kind of a bit of a challenge in making bleached hair, uh, especially on short hair, look not only not dead, but also relatively attractive and actually worth the whole damaging process. So today I'm going to be showing you how I heat style my bleach damaged hair and also some styles that I then, okay, do on it uh, to kind of give it some life, some volume and to show other people that, yes, our hair is still on our head and we can still make it look cute. Let's start. I feel cute. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The first very vital piece of information and tip and knowledge that I'm going to give you is this. Do not blow dry your bleached hair. If you wash your hair and you're one of those people that immediately goes for the hair dryer uh, to obviously dry your hair, don't do it. Bleached hair is very porous. That means that the hair is going to try to uh, stick on to any bit of moisture, in this case being water from your shower, because you have unfortunately gotten rid of any moisture that was in the hair. Because you're going to reach for the hair dryer, you're going to take away any moisture and it's going to feel extremely dry. You get a nice, good quality leave-in conditioner, you rub it in, and you just let it dry. It's going to absorb nicely into the hair. It's not going to feel as frizzy, trust me, okay? But avoid the hair dryer. If you live in a cold area, it's gonna be a bit tricky, but great tip from someone who knows. This is my hair uh, completely air dried. I feel it's relatively okay. It does not feel damaged at all. Worse damage. Because I am going to be heat styling it today, I'm also going in with a thermal protectant. This is a liquid heat protectant that you put on your hair before you straighten it, curl it, even blow dry it, and it's going to basically absorb any of the heat damage instead of giving it to your hair. One key thing to remember, do not apply this and then immediately go in with the curler. Your hair is going to be relatively damp after this. You're still gonna need to dry it. cold setting now it's time to section our hair if your hair is long enough use sectioning clips they're like the easiest and quickest to maneuver however my hair is still too short for that um, so i prefer using a rubber band Curling iron. This is a standard curling iron. It's 2.5 centimeters wide or 25 millimeters. Um, I believe that is exactly a one inch. You can go for a smaller barrel if you want tighter curls, larger if you want looser. However, if your hair is as short as mine, would not recommend going anything larger than this. This is by Bombay Hair. I've recently been absolutely loving it because it creates those perfect, like, lived in loose waves do not exceed 180 degrees celsius so i have mine set at 180 and that is what i'm going to be using for all of my hair if you see that your hair is still going limp afterwards just leave it coiled longer these bits i like to aim them further down so in this case i'm just going to like do that because I don't want them to be like at an awkward angle. This next curl, I'm going to do it in the opposite direction towards my face. Ow, I burned my ear. Um, one disadvantage to using bleach, your hair can break off, but you know, sacrifice. One, two. 
Now that we got our curls all curled, there's a lot of volume, there's a lot of sass, but it's time to break apart the curls and make them a bit more like livable. I'm gonna do that by rubbing some uh, rose finishing oil from Schwarzkopf first on my hands and then through my ends as I, you know, break open the curls. Obviously, you could leave it just as is, and probably by the end of the night, this is how I'm going to leave it, but I'm gonna show you three quick styles that you could do just if you don't want to leave them as is. Um, very simple, very easy, all very livable. Let's go. These are all of the styles and I am so in love with how every single one of them looks, mainly the curls. I feel like there's so much you could do with just a bit of body in your hair. I'm in love with all of them. I hope this video could have been of some help to you. I know you guys have been asking me for some kind of easy, uh, easy to do styles, especially for so short damaged hair so this hopefully could have been of some help to you the headband was by a store called entirely boutique i absolutely love 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 their accessories because they're really stunning this is from a shop called new look and it's basically just a scrunchie with the ribbon if you want to see the dyeing video of this color head to my channel and it's somewhere there mm, you'll see it anyways as always i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you'll give it a go and i will see you in my next video